de ce qui nous fondait le comico. Je me dis passer, j'adhérais pas de toi. Et je vais la voir, je m'en mets en J'avais dessiné. Why is English so hard? Oh la la, no wonder I can't speak French, I can barely speak English. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tiana and I make videos about what it's like being an American living here in France. I have been living in France now for a little over a year and today I'm going to be talking all about the culture shocks that I experienced living here as an American in France. So if that sounds interesting to you, pull up a chair, grab a snack, pour some wine, do whatever you gotta do and let's just jump right into the video. Number one, the importance of saying hello before speaking to anyone for any reason. This was a huge culture shock for me because I didn't know really much about French culture before I moved here and so I learned the word bonjour as a way to say hello or to say good morning but they don't really tell you that it's expected of you to say bonjour to anyone before saying anything else. Anytime you have a question about something or you're lost and you need to ask someone for directions or you're at the grocery store, anytime you need to speak to anyone, you have to say bonjour first because it's kind of a way to initiate conversation and you have to wait for them to say it back to you because that's their way of telling you like, okay, I acknowledge you and now I'm ready to have a conversation. So if you just start speaking at someone without saying bonjour first and just start going off about oh, where is the metro, or can I have this, can I have that, they will probably either ignore you, or if they're a little bit more tolerant, they will probably just roll their eyes at you and then correct you and say bonjour first and then let you ask a question or whatever you needed to know. So, yes, very important to know. Number two, French administration is a nightmare. Okay, don't expect anything to get done in a timely fashion in France because that's just not a thing. Opening a bank account takes weeks. You have to set an appointment, wait for your appointment. Once you go to the appointment, you have to make sure you have all the necessary documents, multiple copies of your identification and anything else they ask for. And then after that, they will process it, which takes some weeks. And then after that, you will get your debit card in the mail finally when they decide that they're done processing it. So yeah, don't expect anything here that requires any type of paperwork to be efficient because it's just not gonna happen. Number three, eating late is a very common thing in France. I was not used to that. I'm used to eating dinner at like six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock every night. But here it's normal to eat dinner around 7.30 at the earliest, usually 8, 8.30. Most restaurants don't even open for dinner until about 8 o'clock and usually serve dinner until 9.30, 10. So yeah, eating late here is totally normal. Also, restaurants are closed in the middle of the day. So usually you'll eat lunch around noon and restaurants will close around 2 p.m. and they won't open again until dinner time, usually around seven or eight. So that is something I had to get used to for sure because it's not only just restaurants actually, it's like pretty much any establishment. Banks do this, the post office I'm pretty sure does this. So it's always very important to double check the hours of whatever place you're trying to go to because more often than not, they're closed in the middle of the day for a few hours. So be careful. Another culture shock, la bise. So when you meet someone in France, it's normal to give them la bise or kisses on the cheek. That was something <laughs> that was very different for me. Obviously in the US we don't do that. It's seen as very like too personal. You don't do that with someone that you're just meeting. You are usually give them a handshake or if it's a more casual situation you can hug them, whatever. Yeah, that's not a thing here. Actually my first week of being in France I went out with some people and I they introduced me to one of their friends and I gave him a hug and then I felt super awkward and he was like, oh, American, right? 
and I was just like, oh god, clown emoji, I look so dumb. Yeah, it was extremely awkward, so don't do that. Um, it could be kind of weird in the beginning because you're like, I don't really know this person, I'm just meeting you for the first time and I have to like kiss you on the cheek, it's kind of weird. We don't really know each other like that, I don't really know, but yeah, it's completely normal, so just go with it, man, just go with it. Because if you're reaching for the hug like I did, things are going to get weird really fast and you don't want to be in that situation. Number... I don't even know what number this is. Four? Five? I don't know. Sweatpants. Loungewear. Yeah, leave the yoga pants at home, girls. I also learned this the hard way because I live basically in yoga pants and leggings. And here, everybody's dressed up all the time. It doesn't matter if you're just running to this grocery store to grab one thing, or running to the post office to drop something off, or running to go to the pharmacy. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You're dressed nice. Everyone here is always dressed nice. No one wears sweatpants outside. That's like a huge no-no. Don't ever do that because people will look at you crazy. That was new for me because I feel like loungewear is such a huge thing in the U.S., especially for the ladies. It's so normal to just throw on some yoga pants when you have to run to the store or going to grab coffee or whatever, running errands. And here it's seen as a huge no-no and people will look at you like a fashion don't. So yes, leave the sweatpants at home and dress to impress anytime you go out. Culture shock number six, the complaining. The French love to complain. It's like their sixth sense complaining. They complain about every single thing. It's such a normal thing to just complain about whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, the train is like, oh, oh pooped on the train. Oh, there's a bird pooped on my car. Oh, merde. Anything anything it doesn't matter it could be the smallest little thing they'll complain about it and it's totally normal it's totally fine and with that we have the strikes okay as we have learned throughout history the french love to strike they will strike for any reason that they deem necessary so that was a huge culture shock for me because i swear there had to be at least like three strikes a week at one point during my stay in paris there were at least three different strikes going on at the same time and it was a nightmare so yeah, that's just something to be aware of they if they don't like something they will revolt and it's totally normal and it gets results so america could probably take some notes just saying another culture shock i've had while being here the metric system now this is where my american education failed me because what is a kilometer? What is a Celsius? I don't know. I still, I've been here 14 months now. I still couldn't tell you the weather in Celsius. I have a pretty good idea. So I can, you know, imagine a little bit, use some quantitative analysis, deductive reasoning to understand the general idea. But yeah, I don't know Celsius. I don't know kilometers. Kilograms, what's that? Literally don't know. So that was a huge culture shock for me because you know, I'm not a metric system kind of gal. I'm used to miles and centimeters and feet, you know. But here, it's just the complete opposite. So that definitely took some getting used to, and I'm still getting used to that. But, you know, I'll get there. It's fine. Not French yet, but I'm working on it. So that is it for my French culture shocks. I'm sure I probably left some out, and I'm probably going to think of more after I finish this video. But that is the gist of it. If you are American or from another nationality living in France and you thought of some that I forgot, leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more videos about me and my experience abroad, living in a foreign country, what it's like, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao!